Hello everybody and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm here to give you a match preview for Liverpool versus Wolves. It's the last game of the season. Of course, Liverpool can't go anywhere. We can't, you know, go up. We can't go down. We're in third place. Champions League football. Last game of the season. It's Klopp's last game for Liverpool. It's That's the only reason why this is a big game. It's Liverpool versus Wolves. And Wolves were the team that, you know... When we played the, fa the the last game of the season against City and we were going head-to-head -head for the title two seasons ago, we played them on the last day of the season that time as well. And it was, I remember watching it, it was a tense affair. Hopefully this one won't be so bad. Nothing to gain, nothing to lose. Just a nice, easy win. Relax, you know. Hopefully that's the way it goes. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. So if you're new to the channel, what I do is I go through, I give you what how I think the game's going to go. I'll give you a score prediction, and then I will give you a lineup prediction as well. And um, before I do that, please, if you haven't already, hit a like on the video. If you leave a like on the video, it makes a massive difference to me because it boosts my, my channel and it puts my content out to more people who might like the same sort of things as you. And also, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. That makes a massive difference. We, we made our goal of 150 um, subscribers before the end of the season. We're now at 155, which is nice. And yeah, keep it coming, guys. And thanks to everybody who has already done it. And yeah, every single person makes a massive difference, everybody who does it. So thank you so much. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into this match preview, shall we? So, <clears throat> of course, I've got my notepad with my notes. There is, it's Wolves at home. It's, it's coming from Anfield. It's the last day of the season, so it will be 4 o'clock kickoff, the same as every single game. And... Wolves 13th in the league. They've played 37, they've won 13, drawn 7, lost 17, which is a lot of losses. But, you know, that's why they're in 13th place. They are just one of them tricky teams. It depends what Wolves you play against. I mean, we've had some difficult games against them, and I've seen Wolves put up decent performances against other teams, just not getting the results. They, they they can be a tricky customer. Um, like I mentioned before with the the last day of the season, that um, two seasons ago, that really had me on edge, that game did. Um, so their form, their last five games, um, the last one was a 3-1 loss away, uh, sorry, at home to Palace. Then a 5-1 loss against City. Then a 2-1 win against Luton, and that one was at home. A 1-0 loss to Bournemouth at home, and then a 2-0 loss at home to Arsenal. And obviously, well, Arsenal and City in there. You know, I expect teams to lose against Arsenal and City. So they're off the back of four losses out of their last five, which is not good form. And then they're coming to us, third in the league, um, probably rightfully so. Um, so I, I don't see much hope for them, really. Um, but like I said, it depends what Wolves turn up. They can be a tricky customer on, on their day. Um, the head-to-head. -head, so when we played them last, um, it was at, um, at their ground. It was the 16th of September last year. Um, it finished 3-1. Wolves did get the, the breakthrough. Wang Hee Chan scored in the seventh minute. Then Gakpo equalised on 55. Robertson scored a goal on, in the 85th minute. And then there was an own goal by Hugo Bueno um, in the 91st minute to make it and seal the three points for Liverpool, make it 3-1 um, on the day. And, yeah, I see the exact same happening again, really. That's... Uh, uh, barring Liverpool completely capitulating like we do, like we have done, like against Aston Villa last week. Two goals up, cruising, too many changes, took the sting out of the game and just took the sting out of the team and it just became lethargic and it was just... Boy, I actually thought Villa were going to win it. If you tuned into the live stream, I, I said it in it, I was like, they're going to win this. They didn't, they could have. Darwin Nunes scored a one-on-one. -on -one. Perfect. Just what you want to see until the... The linesman flags for offside, of course. You know, you think, ah, yes, finally. He's learned how to bury the bury the ball in the back of the net. It's just Liverpool all over at the minute. It's been 
But then again, I didn't really expect anything different. At the start of the season, we, you know, the signings we made, we didn't think it was going to be enough. And ultimately, it wasn't. We overperformed. We got into a great position. But we peaked and we're now coming back a bit. And it's to be expected, you know, it's... We should, you know, look to next season to improve. Um, and that's exactly what we'll have to do. Because, um, well, we just haven't been good enough the last few months. So, yeah, as I said, that's Klopp's last game as well. So that'll be quite memorable for him, um, no doubt. Um, also, I aim to be doing a watch along for this. Um, I've got the advert there. I've got all of the, the artwork made for it. I hope to be doing a live stream. However, I will be in Liverpool for this game. I'm, I'm going to Liverpool tomorrow, Friday, um, for a few days. I initially tried to get tickets for this game, of course. Didn't work, but I thought, while I've got the hotel and the, the flights booked, I'll just go and enjoy my time there anyway. And, you know, have a few beers. And it's also my stag party. Um, so it's going to be just a nice few days there. I do plan on doing the stream for the game. I'll be going to a pub near Anfield, hopefully. Soaking in a bit of the atmosphere. And I'll get a live stream out to you guys. If not, like, I'm going to have it all set up. If not, I, I will put it out on social media that I won't be um, and also if I do it it will be from my phone so unfortunately for the peeps on Facebook you won't be able to tune in because I, I can just stream to YouTube that day so unless you flick over to YouTube then you'll be able to tune in so with all of that said let's get into my score prediction and well I've just, I've just pretty much told you what I'm going to go with and I think too much. I think it's going to be that. I don't see much else. I don't want to go 2-1. That's too tight. I think we are better than Wolves. We should be able to dominate them. Um, just you just don't. You, I just really don't know with this Liverpool team anymore. Like a few months ago, I could predict a scoreline and it'd be correct. Now it's just really difficult because you just don't know if they're going to throw it away like they have been doing. So I'm going to go with 3-1. And come the day, I'll probably be confident in that. I'll probably be like, yeah, that's right. It might even be a 4-1. So we'll see. But yeah, get in the comments and let me know what you guys think as well. Get your predictions in. So now let's get into my lineup prediction. So it's, again, there is no change. It's exactly, it's what lined up um, against Villa. Um, it's it's our best lineup. Oh, sorry, no, Gomez was in at left back. So, in the goal, of course, Allison. Left back, I brought Robert Robertson back. Apparently, he is ready to play this game. He picked up a little knock, which is why he didn't start against Villa, and why Gomez did start. Um, so he clubs come out and said that he should be fit to play this game. So Robertson's going to go back in there. Um, other than that, that's the only change from what. This is how I think it'll go. That's the only change that I think will happen compared to what started against Villa. Um, Van Dijk, Kwanzaa in the middle, um, the two centre-backs. And then Trent Alexander-Arnold on the right, of course, because he's just unbelievable. Um, then Endo, McAllister and Elliot in midfield. Again, without them on the pitch, we look terrible. Um, all the substitutions in the last game really killed the game off. And we then just didn't look like doing anything. Um, and it's, it's, well, it's to do with the substitutions, but it's to do with the players that are coming on. They're just not as good as the players that start. Um, Endo and McAllister are incredible in that midfield role, like breaking down opposition teams and stopping them actually getting the attacks. And when, so when they come off, or I, I'm not sure if McAllister came off, but Endo came off definitely. It just, if we just lose it. We just lose that like presence in midfield. Um, and that's where I think ultimately lost. We lost the game. Uh, we didn't lose. We drew against Villa. We lost the points. And also just the fact that there were so many changes, a quadruple change, and it just we just lost our fluidity, I think. Um, and Elliot out on the right as well, because he can't do nothing wrong. He's, he's a brilliant young player, and it's about time he got his minutes. You know, Klopp regrets that. And, well, give it to him now. You know, there's nothing to lose, nothing to gain. So do it now. Then up top, I've gone with Salah, Gakpo, Diaz. Of course, how they line up, this is how they'll line up, I reckon. Um, 
that's how they have been lining up. I wouldn't mind seeing Salah go through the middle, Gakpo on the left, Diaz on the right. But I've said that lots of times. So that's my lineup. So in full, it's Allison, Robertson, Van Dijk, Kwanzaa, Trent, Endo, McAllister, Elliot, Diaz, Gakpo, Salah. And guys, let me know how I did. You know, if if you have any suggestions, if you think I went wrong, if um, you've got any predictions, anything like that, get in the comments below and let me know. And yeah, like I said, there will hopefully be a watch along. I really am planning on doing it. It just depends if I can find somewhere to do it. And I will actually be in Liverpool doing it. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. And I'm hoping there will be the watch along. And so please do tune in. I look forward to seeing you all in there. That'll be at four o'clock. That'll be with kickoff um, on Sunday. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll s until I see you in the next one up the fucking Reds.